Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maureen and I'm a homeschool mom to two boys. And today I want to talk to you about the Life of Fred math curriculum. I am going to be answering the question, is Life of Fred a complete curriculum? So let's find out. <laughs> So first I need to answer the question, what is Life of Fred? Life of Fred is a math curriculum that uses the character Fred, a make-believe character, who is a five-year-old mathematician that teaches at Kittens University. Kittens? Kittens. Here's Fred. Obviously he's a make-believe character, but the books follow his story while he teaches at five years old um, math at Kittens University. Each book is about 19 chapters long. Every chapter is a few pages in length with a your turn to play at the end. Life of Fred is unlike any other math curriculum. It is taught in story format and follows the life of Fred, the five-year-old mathematician. Um, but whereas the math curriculum that I was taught, and most of you probably were as well, is the drill and kill format. So it makes math fun. Fred is funny. The fact that he's a five-year-old professor at a university is hilarious in itself. <laughs> but the stories are super great. And the kids are not only learning math, but in almost every chapter, they're learning about something outside of math. So I'm going to reference Apples, which is the first book in the series, the elementary series. And a few other things that the kids will learn about are um, deciduous trees, what the word deciduous means. If Fred's nose was deciduous. <laughs> I love it. They're introduced to algebra, that's math. Um, outside of that, they learn the story of the Titanic they learn um, what herbivores and carnivores are, among a ton of other things. So I love that too, that because it is story format and the stories are funny, they're often learning other things that are involved in the story that don't even have to do with math. So another plus for Life of Fred. We started with Life of Fred Elementary Series, which is in alphabetical order A through J. So the first few books are titled Apples, Butterflies, Cats, and so forth to the letter J. Then from there you'll go into the Intermediate Series, which is a set of three books. And then from there you'll go into Pre-High School and then High School. And I believe they even have college um, books as well. Um, you would need to check that out. But right this year, my youngest, who's the only one that uses the Life of Fred curriculum, has just started Fractions. So we just entered the Pre-High School Series. Four years ago, our very first year of homeschooling, somehow I came across the Life of Fred series and um, was really intrigued by it. Math was my favorite subject in school. I really wanted the boys to enjoy math. So I ordered um, a used copy of the Apples, the very first book in the elementary series, and we used it as a supplement that year. Well, we all just fell in love with it. The boys were asking me to read it. I would finish a chapter and they would ask me if we could keep going. Like we were all laughing out loud while I was reading it. It was great. Um, so much so that even in the evenings at their read bedtime story time, they were asking for Life of Fred. So that was my first kind of like, I really like this. Well, for the following year, I decided to let the boys choose the math curriculum that they wanted. My oldest chose Matthew C, which he has used um, up until now and is loving it. And my youngest asked if he could do Life of Fred. I really was, was wanting to go that route, um, but after reading several reviews online, I wasn't sure if it was a complete math curriculum. I was really on the fence. Um, at the time, I felt like, a lot of it was kind of 50-50. Honestly, probably more than that. Honestly, probably more so people were saying that Life of Fred was only um, good for a supplement and not a complete math curriculum. Well, my youngest um, has been above average in math since he, since he was in kindergarten. Um, and, and, and let's see, we were starting his third grade year whenever he wanted to only use Life of Fred. So I thought, you know what, he's above average. 
if it doesn't do well for him, and even if he stayed where he was, he would still be totally at level the following year. And I also knew that I couldn't try a new curriculum for just a month or even two months and make a solid decision on if I felt like um, it was good enough to be a, a sole curriculum or not. I knew I needed to, to give it a long length of time. So I thought, we're just gonna stick with Life of Fred for a complete year, do our end of the year testing and see how you do. Um, so that's what we did. So his, the, his third grade year, he only used Life of Fred. And the way we approached it was we, um, I purchased the entire elementary series. And for, the, for each book, I would read it out loud to him while he did the your, your Turn to Play, and then he would read it on his own. And we did that all the way A through J. We did not get all A through J his third grade year. It took two years for us to get through the elementary series. But at the end of his third grade year, and I can't remember, I think we were at Dogs, the end of the book Dogs, which would be the fourth book in the series, um, was when he tested for the end of his third grade year and his test scores really blew us away. I mean, I was not, I really don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> I think because of all of the reviews I had read online about how Life of Fred really couldn't be a standalone curriculum, I didn't have high expectations and it completely proved me wrong. Yeah. We used the Stanford testing online and this was at the end of his third grade. And you can see here, total mathematics going across, he scored grade equivalent 5.7. So almost sixth grade level at the end of third grade after using only Life of Fred for one year. What? So after getting back those test scores, it was an obvious, easy decision. He wanted, he loved Life of Fred. He wanted to keep going with Life of Fred. So I was like, Heck yeah, we're gonna keep on with Life of Fred. And right now, the plan is to do it through high school. He's still, we just started Fractions, which is the beginning of pre-high school um, series. And he's really enjoying it still. And he really looks forward to doing math. So we are, the plan right now is to stick with Life of Fred um, through the end of high school, as long as we are still homeschooling. Also, side note, um, we have chosen not to share the end of the year test results with our kids. They've actually never even asked, which is surprising because my youngest is super competitive. So we don't share with them because, well, for two reasons. For one, I don't want them to get a big head if they see that they are above average in certain areas. And then also, I don't want them to get down and upset if they see that they tested really low. And almost every year, it's a little bit of both. And I don't want that to affect how they, um, how they're learning and their attitude towards learning. So we don't share those with them. Yeah. Another advantage to the Life of Fred books is that they hold their value. I have purchased every single book used. And let me tell you, like maybe a couple of bucks less than brand new, like maybe. So I know that when I'm ready to resell, if I resell, <laughs> those books that I'm gonna get pretty much my money's worth back um, reselling those. Our Fractions book that we're using this year, the pre-high school series, y'all, I got used for $5. $5. Like, what? Of course I had to buy it, even if we weren't using it. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? <laughs> That's a problem. So here's the question. Is Life of Fred a complete math curriculum? I say yes, absolutely. The proof is in the pudding or in the Stanford test. But yes, it's a full curriculum. I think that the real question should be, is Life of Fred right for your child? Because I have two boys and only one of them is using Life of Fred. Why? Well, let me tell you. If I could remember my points, I would tell you right now. I believe it works so well for my youngest because of two main reasons. Number one, he loves critical thinking and he's really good at it. Puzzles, strategy, all of it, he's really good. Number two, he loves to read. He loves to read. If your child is not a fan of reading, period, 
Life of Fred may not be the best for you because it is in a book story format. So consider those two things, critical thinking and reading. Bottom line is guys, you know your child the best. And if you think that Life of Fred is the curriculum for them, then go for it. Otherwise, there are a ton of amazing math curriculums out there. We use different math curriculum for each of our boys and you can too for all of your kids if that's what you think would be best for them. You get to make that decision. That's one of the beautiful things about homeschooling. Hey, if you liked this video or you found it helpful at all, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. And if you use Life of Fred or you're considering using Life of Fred or you've used it in the past, I would love to hear that. Leave it down in the comments below. And until next time, guys, I hope you have a great day. See you soon. Bye.